Right, a lovely uh, 10 inch 78 RPM shellac uh, deco record. Uh, topical at the time actually, with uh, Brexit apparently, we can't have Brexit because of the Irish border. This is the red herring that uh, the Romaniac uh, EU lovers out there are all trying to throw up, uh, and the political establishment are trying to throw up, that we cannot leave. We've got to be a prisoner to a foreign super state that the EU wants to turn itself into, just so we can keep the uh, the Irish border from uh, going up in flames. Well, it's a load of coppers. Of course we can. We've had a border with Ireland for uh, you know for centuries, and uh, and uh, the uh, the the small amount of trade where it goes to and fro is it can be managed quite happily. This is no reason for us not leaving the European Union. Anyway, it's enough of waffle about Brexit. The uh, hands across the border. It's uh, interestingly, it's got uh, Richard Hayward, the uh, who was actually uh, I could have been knocked down with a feather when somebody told me he wasn't actually uh, he's not actually Northern Irish. He was actually born in uh, I think in Kent in England, but went there and spent much of his life uh, living in in Ireland and became a real uh, patriot and uh, an enthusiast about reviving uh, Irish uh, you know traditions and music etc. Made lots of uh, recordings, uh, films etc. on the subject. And here he is uh, Jimmy O'Day, Richard Hayward and uh, Barry O'Donovan, Hands Across the Border, a sketch, part one. Free State border? I suppose you mean the northern border. It wasn't us to figure the map of Erden by that thing. All right, then. Are we near the northern border? I'm not so sure I like that either. We're not admitting it's yours, rotten as it is. Well, are we near the border? Near or far? I wish I had me foot on the Irish side of it anyway. Just you catch yourself on, missus. The people of Ulster's every bit as Irish as used ones in the south. I am proud of it, too. Did you ever hear tell of Rad Hugh O'Neill? The Red Hand of Ulster. Did you ever hear tell of Alfie Burton, the shaken hand of Dublin? Didn't we strike a blue for liberty at the sacred walls of Derry? No, oh, that's nothing. Don't we have strikes every day at the North Wall in Dublin? Tell me, do you ever laugh up there? Aye, whenever we think of the free state. Laugh at us, do you? You must have a marvellous sense of humour. We well, have. We can even laugh at a rotten joke. Put that in your sweet drum and burl it. Oh, we don't laugh at you. You're like an onion. We skin you so often you have us in tears. Oh, put that in your big drum and bang us. Hey, you're stop quarrelling, you two. I'm not quarrelling. A dog doesn't quarrel with his tail. He sits on it. I swear the tail we've made his old dizzy trying to chase us. May I inquire your name, ma'am? Michael Hagger. Mm, half Irish and half Scotch. What's yours? Mulligan. Half drunk and half dull. Listen, ma'am, another one like that from you and you'll be half dead. Not that row. What are you, half shot? No, all cock. Then pop off and shut up. That's right. We'll settle the border question without you. Mm, it's just a friendly argument. No ill feeling, isn't that right, ma'am? Of course it does. We're all Irish anyway, bother or not. Sure. If somebody put a line round my neck, it wouldn't separate my head from my body. Of course not. If somebody put a rope round your neck now, it would be different. Is that a joke or a wish? A joke, of course. Will you shake hands, ma'am? I will. Sure, I'd shake hands with anyone. Are you trying to be funny? Oh, not at all. No, I'm glad of that. Speaking as a lady, if I thought you were making a fool of me, I'd knock your northern block off. I don't worry, missus. I wouldn't make a fool of you. I'm glad of that. It's not for me to paint the lily. If you're not careful, you won't be painting it. You'll be holding it in your hand. If this argument's getting a bit too friendly, chuck it. Sing a song or something. The very thing. Here's a good song. On we knocked ten thousand paper shells right over Dolly's play. You knocked what? Oh, of course, that was a long while ago. Oh, I see. Oh, here's another good one. To the Crown and Shamrock we would go on the Antrim Road of a Sunday morning. And that was a hell of a long time ago. Oh, look at the great travellers we are. Every week, man of Ulster lives our shores. I know, I know. I've been in Morton Point of a Sunday. And let me tell you, my father's ancestor came looking for a fight in the Spanish Armada. I know your father goes looking for booze in the Royal Iris. Oh, old Steve, old Steve, hurry along, please. Hurry oh, along, please. Oh, thank heaven I'll be in a civilised country soon. Oh, steer me back to Arian's Isle. When Ireland lay broken and bleeding, they sent for the men of the world. On the green grassy slopes of the coin, where the orange man with William that joined. Wait, 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 wait,
Right, so the other side, side two of this uh, very topical record at this time, as we're, we've, uh, we're supposed to have left the European Union uh, a few weeks back on the 29th of March. It's now, uh, I think it's the 28th of, uh, of April, and we still haven't left, and there's no prospect of the way things are going, because the political establishment are using the Irish border as this sticking point, where it really isn't, uh, because uh, we've been trading and uh, travelling to and fro, back and forth across the border for... For centuries, not just for a hundred years since uh, since they become uh, you know had their independence pretty much, but uh, but uh, it's a red herring. But anyway, hands across the border and all the sort of uh, comic rivalry you hear in this uh, this record, it's uh, it's all still there. <laughs> and it's not always comic, are you? Know? <laughs> You needn't say it. We know. We know. You would think we'd be rid of traffic controls when we left the air. Was that yourself, Mrs. Mulligan? It is, ma'am. The good day young. I wonder where are we going? This is a beautiful road we're walking on. Aye, it'd be just as well if it wasn't. I've always heard the road to heaven is steep and rocky. I never thought of that, now. There's a lad sitting at the desk like the clerk of the court. We'll ask him. I would better see if we have our harps or horns. Hey, young fella. Have you any advice notes for a couple of bus accidents? What do you want? Two pair of wings, if you please, in a hurry. Names, please. Mulligan. Michael Hagger. I'm from the island of saints and scholars. And I'm from the island of Homers and Rivets. Do we have to walk up? No, you have to slide down. Suffered and dark. Next apartment, please, to be fitted for horns. It serves me right. When I was leaving Dublin, my husband says, Where are you going, to see? Belfast, says I. Hell, to see. And here I am. What size horns do you take? Such an a question. How would we know? She were never in hell before. Have a heart, mister. Give us a couple of second-hand crowns. No. Or a few tossed wings. Anyway, we're not dying about flying. What have you ever suffered that entitles you to go to heaven? I've had two bad accidents and three operations. And I've had two bad husbands and twelve children. I had no children. You can have a clap of mine if it'll keep you out of hell. Or two husbands, all right. Husbands have nothing to do with heaven. You're, You're telling, telling us. us. What were you fighting about? She said the north is better than the south, Dowell Haim. And so it does. Sure everyone knows that, dear Trollope. That'll do. Keep quiet. Ah, shut up, you. This is a private row. If I had on my horns, I'd give you the queer dump and kit take the kippers out of you, so what? And if I hadn't a lump of bandage stuck in me ribs, I'd massacre you. Would you? What would I be doing the while? Cease, fool. On this side, there is no north, no south, no politics. Sure, me. What do you do for a bit of gas? On your way. Can we have a drink? You may have one last drink. The last round up. What do you have? I'll have a bottle of Guinness. And I'll have a bottle of Bush. Oh, you're as cute as a Christian. I might as well be drunk as be down. Well, here's to the comb. Comb? Are you Mrs. Mulligan, the pride of the comb? Yes. Give me your ticket till I change your destination. They've been waiting for you up there for years. Are you cotton me? No, here, catch. There's your crown. And your wings. And your dress of gold. I'm like the fairy in the pantomime. Get out of me light till I try a flap. Put on your wings, Mrs. Mack, and we'll have a spin as far as Purgatory and back. Well, there's no wings for me. Isn't she coming? Sorry? Ah, oh, go on, mister. Relax. She can't help being from the north of Ireland. I'm sorry? Goodbye, Mrs. Mulligan. Oh, no fear. He can have his finery back. They put a border between us on earth, but we'll sink or swim together now. There, ma'am. I've no hanky. Wipe your eye on me wing. Ah, uh, here I can't stand a woman winging. There's a crown and a couple of wings for you. Take them and go to heaven. Put them on, ma'am, before he changes his mind. Ireland united. No politics. No bigotry. No fighting. No sir, Rhonda. 